Yo, good morning, golfing fans. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. As you know, this episode is brought to you in association with betting.co.uk. And I'm back again with my weekly selections for you. But in this episode alone, I'm solely going to be focusing on the one event on the DP World Tour as we take one of the most prestigious events of the year and head to one of England's most signature golf courses, which means we've got the BMW Championship taking place on the West Course at Wentworth. And I really can't wait to see this one unfold. It's a real highlight on the DP World Tour. And I've actually had this uh, event in the back of my mind for a few weeks now, including a few players which have actually made my shortlist. So I'm feeling really confident about my selections this week. And hopefully we can take some nice profit heading into next week's French Open. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome aboard. I really do appreciate you tuning in. The support is always greatly appreciated. And if you're able to do so, there is a button below this video, which is a subscribe button. It's completely free to do so. And by clicking that, you really do show some strong support to the channel. I'm very grateful to everyone that's tuning in. And thank you to everyone that is willing to click that button. I really do appreciate the support. It's free to do so. And it's been nice to be able to pay you back some really good winners throughout this season. Now, also for the newbies, a little bit of a background towards myself. I'm an ex-tour playing professional, so I've got some tour experience. And I'm now putting that knowledge to good use, trying to find new the players that I think are best suited to the courses that the tour take on every single week. And it's gone very well up until this point. There's 798 points in profit so far, which means if you had a £10 bet on every single one of my selections since January, you would now nearly have £8,000 profit sat in your pocket. So if you don't mind just clicking subscribe, I really will appreciate that a great deal. Now, the difference about the way I pick my selections to most tips that you'll find on YouTube and Twitter, etc., as I've actually got playing experience, so I played a lot of these courses, and stats will only tell you so much. So, when most players will go onto the stats and find them, giving them an indication for the event every single week, it doesn't always pan out that way. Of course, it's really good. It gives you an indicator of what sort of tools the player possesses, but you really do need players that are well-suited to every single course. And Wentworth is a very unique track. You really do need to be able to move the ball quite well. So, even though you need a good iron player here, and a lot of the players and tips you'll find this week are going to be looking for players with good stats in that iron department i want a player that can move a ball really well and i want a pretty decent high ball flight for here at wentford as well very much beneficial to those sort of players and i really think i've got a strong squad for this week so as i said i can't wait for this one to unfold and it takes place on the west course at wentworth 7267 yards course so it's a very long track this one Four par fives with three of them significantly coming on the back nine, but it doesn't necessarily make it a more scorable nine. It's a very hard overall course. Last year's winner was Shane Lowry with a score of 17 under, and he managed to beat McElroy and Rahm by just the one shot. But perhaps the highlight of the final day last year was John Rahm's 62. He was nine under through the final 10 holes, and he joined three other players that have actually managed to get that course record of 62. He's joined Alex Noren, Robert Carlson, and Thomas Bjorn, and that is some seriously, seriously good golf. I'd be very surprised if we saw a player get near that 62 this week, but however, that has to be worth some form of note. Now, in this week's event, we've got a real star-studded lineup with three of the top four in the world turning up. We've got McElroy, we've got John Rahm, Victor Hovland now part of that elite team as well. But they're all too short in the betting, including last year's winner Shane Lowry here at 16s. But due to these players being in the field, we have actually got some really good value elsewhere. And I've got a really strong group of players set up for this week. I've got a five-man squad, but I do have three small state long shots, which I think could be worth a bit of a squeak whilst we're taking a look at Wentworth as well. Now, something new, though, going forward for this week. I've been offering level stakes to all of my selections for this year, and I've been putting my selections in order of strength for you to then influence and determine how long or how much money you'd like to spend on these selections. But it's been strongly requested that I get some form of point system in place. So from this week, I am going to do so. Now, the points run from one to five. Five, of course, being the strongest. And it's been a good year so far with a profit. So why not get stuck in with a few extra points? As I said, I've got a five-man squad, three long shots as well, and 19 points total laid out for this week my number one selection for this week is going to be matt wallace at 80 to 1 with sky bet you can get eight places 2.5 points each way he's the only member coming out of wentworth so he's going to be feeling very comfortable coming into this week and when i initially thought of this event in mind i had two players that went straight into my notebook matt wallace was one and my third selection of this week as well is the other which of course i will come on to in just a moment but matt wallace is the one for me this week i think it's the standout better 80 to 1 with those eight places available he's a four-time winner on the dp world tour and he's a supremely good ball striker a real nice high ball flight and he's played some really nice 
golf since the Open this year as well, finishing second in the Czech Masters. And I can really see him having a big week this week as well. It definitely suits his game. He plays out of this course. He's going to feel comfortable. And if he can start strong this week, Matt Wallace, I think he's good enough as well to mix it with the top three in the world. So 80-1, to 1, I think, staggering value for this week's event for Matt Wallace. And he's going to be my number one selection. Matt Wallace, 80-1, to 1, Sky Bet 8 places, 2.5 points each way. Selection number two is going to be Robert McIntyre, 66 to 1 with Skybet. Again, eight places, just two points each way for this selection. It's actually been a really big year for Bobby Mack without actually winning on tour, but he has had six top tens this season. And of course, last week he did manage to get the automatic spots for the Ryder Cup, which was one of his big aims. And that was obviously a really big result for him. He did actually struggle last week, but he had a lot on his mind. And I think coming here this week, he could actually have a really big chance. Now he's got himself that Ryder Cup spot. He's got a really great game for Wentworth. Moves the ball particularly well. Quite a high ball flight player as well, particularly with his long wood. So I think he can really take advantage of some of these par fives. Give him plenty of birdie opportunities. And I think he's going to be really, really up for it this week. He's capable of beating these big names as well. Bit of star quality probably required to win this. Robert McIntyre definitely has that. And at 66 to 1, I think that's more than a fair price for Skybet. Eight places available, two points each way for Bobby Mack. Selection number three is a win-only selection. And again, the second player that I instantly had in mind for this event, and that's Tyrrell Hatton at 18 to 1. With Sky, uh, a three-point win on this selection, who's the other player that I instantly had in mind when I was thinking of this event. And he is the 2020 winner of this event, so he's obviously well adapted to this course. And I'm not sure what he was actually ranked then, but he's now world number 13 and definitely proven that he's one of the best players in the world. And even though he's still got this fiery attitude about him, his game is still a very much mature sort of play, game plan than what he had in previous years. He actually used to be a really low ball uh, low ball flight player as well, Tyrrell Hatton. He now hits it very, very high with his irons, and I think that's going to really bode well for him this week. Really good iron player. And even though his, um, his iron swing doesn't necessarily look totally conventional, it works really, really well for him this week. I could really see him picking up this trophy again this week, and I could actually see him, without necessarily winning a major for some reason, but I could see him picking up two or three of these sort of BMW events. And at 18-1, to one, Tyrrell Hatton goes straight into the book this week as a three-point win at 18 to 1. Selection number four is going to be Ross Fisher at 175 to 1. Again, with Skybet, eight places available, one point each way for Ross Fisher, who is a player definitely back to form this season. It'd be no surprise to see him relish the test here at Wentworth. Probably going to be really well suited to this track on the stats basis, which again doesn't necessarily interest me too much this week. But he will play here really, really well. Seemingly back to form this week, which makes him a real big danger, I think, at 175 to 1. He played really well at the Maiden Himmeland a few weeks ago as well. Looked to be on for a top five as well. Um, uh, after the first two rounds in the Irish Open. Did let himself down over the weekend, but still managed to finish in a tie for 23rd. But saw plenty in those first two rounds to think that he could actually go really well again this week. And I think at this sort of price at 175 to 1, he is not to be forgotten as a five-time DP World Tour winner. So selection number four is Ross Fisher at 175 to 1, eight places with one point each way. And my final selection for the main squad is going to be Eddie Pepperell at 125 to 1. Again, eight places, one point each way. Similarly to Rosh Fisher, looks like a player coming back to form, potentially coming to the boil. And he took some time off Eddie Pepperell to work on his mental game. It seemingly worked very, very well indeed. He's got two top tens in his last four starts. And even though he doesn't often carry a driver, it's not too much of a worry here. He hits it plenty long enough and he is a proper, proper ball striker. So I hope he does get the driver in the bag though. I would like to see him take a little bit more advantage of that but perhaps that's why he is my final selection of this week and not nearer the top no driver not really a problem proper ball striker really good player and i could see eddie pepper going really well this week at a price of 125 to 1 one point each way for those eight places and that is my main squad for this week. But for this week, with an event that I really, really do like, and of course it being a new point system, I'm going to put a few points on the line for some long shots this week. Three long shots, the smallest price being 400 to 1. The first of which is Joachim, uh, Joachim Lagergren, 500 to 1 with eight places, 0.5 points each way for this one. A player definitely out of form, but on his best form, does have a chance of actually getting quite well in this event. He played quite well in this event last year. He has won on tour and he actually fits this sort of track really, really nicely as well. The stats actually work out for him. So I am taking that into account with Joachim Lagergrim. And I think he's a massive price. He could actually do something quite well with that 500 to one shot with eight places available because there's always a few players at the top of this leaderboard that go well unexpectedly, but he definitely does has the game on one of his better days. 
Selection number two of the long shots is Callum Shinkwin at 400 to 1. Sky bet again, eight places, 0.5 each way. One of the home players who tend to do quite well at this event. And again, he is a two time tour player as well. Definitely out of form himself at the moment, but he will have the experience to go well here. It was a tough task at the Scottish Open and the Open, but he did sort of play a little bit better last week at the Irish Open. Three under par, so he finished in the top half of the table. Um, and he's not a no-hoper here. He may have turned a corner at the Irish Open, and he's probably going to be much better suited to Wentworth. So at 400 to 1, Callum Shinquin gets a little bit of a squeak as well. And my final selection at a massive price of 1,000 to 1 is going to be Alexander Nappe from Germany. 0.5 each way again. Trying to play all of the DP World Tour events this year. And I think he's played every single one this year. And he's actually a pretty steady player on his good day. He's got two top five finishes this year. Really good iron player. So as long as he's okay off the tee, getting himself into positions. And Wentworth is quite wide, to be honest with you, off the tee. Then he could give himself a big opportunity here. And the fact you get 1,000 to 1, I'm giving him a chance this week as one of my bomb selections. Okay, so there's the squads for this week. And we'll go through the main squad first, just to recap. Selection number one, my strongest selection of the week is Matt Wallace at 80 to 1. Eight places available, 2.5 points each way. Selection number two is Robert McIntyre, Bobby Mack, 66 to 1. Eight places available, two points each way with eight places again. Then my third selection is a win bet only on Tyrrell Hatton, three points at 18 to 1. Then it's Ross Fisher, 175 to 1 each way. Eight points available with one point each way on uh, Ross Fisher. Eddie Pepper, 125 to 1 with eight places available, one point each way. And then, as I said, I've got three bombs for you this week, just for a bit of fun. I won't have these every single week, but because it's an event that I'm massively fond of, I have got these three anyway. And that's Joachim Lagergren from Sweden at 500 to 1, 0 0.5 points each way. Callum Shinquin, 400 to 1, eight places, 0 0.5 each way. And then Alex Nap a thousand to one eight places available 0 0.5 points each way so again there's the squads for you this week guys thank you to everyone that's tuning in please don't forget to hit that subscribe button it really does help me out a great deal not too far away from those 3,000 uh, subscribers now and again we're nearly over eight thousand pounds in profit to just a 10 pound stake to all of my selections since january so look thanks everyone for tuning in not many events now to go until the riley cup but i'm really sweet on my squad for this week and i think we can take a nice little bit of profit into next week's french open i will put my fourteen a selections over on uh, twitter but i'm not too interested in that event my main selections are here for the dp world tour thanks everyone for tuning in let me know who you fancy and goodbye for now bye